Greetings my crafty friends, it's Julie Creek from Creek Bank Creations. I'm excited to be here with you today to share with you the new layered cardinal stencil and die set. Yes, you heard that right. It's a layered cardinal stencil and that set includes two dies, a die for the cardinal and a die for the branch. I'm really thrilled to be with you here today to talk about it. And what we talked about earlier last week was the wingback card base. And in that video, when we talked about the wingback card base, I showed the layered card cardinal stencil and die set. I'll put a link in the description below that um, you can go and watch the full instructional video about the wing back card base but today we're just here to talk about the layered cardinal stencil and die set. You'll notice here that I have my ink out ready to go. I'm using Rocking Red, Rockin Red from Catherine Pooler, Blackjack, and Over Coffee. You'll notice I have my fingerettes on here. This is our ink tool that we use to finger to do edging on things and I keep that velcroed right to my little pad with I adhere this velcro dot to the fingerette with some fabric glue and that is how I store my fingerettes when they're ready to use so I always have them with my ink pads not using those today but they are on there wanted to point that out so we are going to use three three colors and you'll notice I only have one color of red because the color will build up and it'll give us the layering look that we want and I think we're ready to get started. So when we get started, what we need is a piece of paper that measures three by two. A nice piece of cardstock that you can ink on. And what we are going to do is take our super tacky tape and we are going to put our paper in the tape. So you're going to unroll your tape, put your paper in there and trim it out. Now the reason I am putting it in the tape in the beginning is that when I am done, I want to cut, die cut my bird and stick it to my card. So if I put tape on my paper in the very beginning, when I go to die cut, I'll have a sticker. So I have tape liner on the back cardstock on the front. Now I have already put a piece of quarter inch tape down on my grid. I'm going to peel that up and place my paper into the tape and press it down. I have previously prepped my stencil before coming to shoot the video today and I will also put a link in the descriptions below to the video that tells you how to prep a stencil. What we're doing is using a Sharpie and goof off and wiping it off and you can watch the instructional video on how to do that. When you have done that process, that pulls up all the layer, the laser etchings on the stencil. And you'll notice that these are marked one, two, three, four. See the numbers on there? Five. And then I'm telling you when you get to step six, you need black ink. When you get to step seven, that's brown ink. And th this right here is the branch. So if you want to just ink the branch and then die cut it, you can. So we're going to start with the very first bird. And it's the full outline of the bird. And we are going to take our red ink and pick up some ink. So we are going to take our lid off. We're going to take that stencil brush. We're going to pull the band back. And I am using our stencil brush. And I'm going to start off the paper and I'm going to do small circles onto the paper. Now when I do that first layer, I really don't need to have it very dark. You just want to get a basic layer of ink down. Then I want to slide it over and I want to take the edge lines that are on the stencil and line them up with the red base that's already there. Get more ink and come back in and apply more ink. Now again, I wouldn't go really, really heavy on this until you get to the end because as you work the stencil, it's going to build up color layers for you, which is really advantageous for getting the look of this cardinal. When I come down to step number three, which I just slid this down, see number three down here, I'm going to pick up more ink and I'm going to come in and just build up that layer 
and when I do this one I would take a look and see if you have any light color showing next to that that edge of the top of the feather and if you do just come back in slide that around until you get that covered well then we're going to slide over to number four line up number four and come in and again we're not putting down a ton of ink we're just getting a layer of ink on there we're building up our bird there now we're going to come back in with layer number five which will be the second stencil and it's marked number five and this is the one that I really go a little bit heavier get a little detail on there just so those little marks show up those are to be his feathers and then we'll have created that basic bird so I'm ready to come in with the sixth part of the stencil which is the black and I'm going to line up that etch line right along the outside of the bird and line it up up here at the top and I'm going to use the blackjack ink and I'm going to use the stencil brush. Now when I open up my stencil brush I'm going to pull that band back so I can pick up ink but then I'm going to pull it up nice and tight because when I have a concentrated place that band allows me to get in there right exactly where I want and get that ink down and I'm just going to get a nice layer of black on there and pull that up and I will have that area that I want exactly the way I want it. Now our next color we're going to use on the stencil which is piece number seven is the brown and I'm using over coffee so I'm going to take this place it on my bird line up the etched line and we are going to color in that whole space now again I'm going to pull that band up so I can choke up those bristles nice and tight and that's the nice thing about this you really have two kinds of stencil brushes in one and there we have completed our bird now I have another piece of paper here I'm gonna set this up here and we are going to lay that down and do the branch now you could take the branch die and just cut that on cardstock and skip this step but we had room on the stencil so I added it there's your base of color and what's unique about this set is that what we are stenciling is actually larger than what we are die cutting so when we go to put the die on what we see is that the die is fitting inside the stencil line I'm going to take my die set it where I want to set it and then place our stencil tape on it so that it doesn't shift when I die cut we're going to do the same thing with this piece lay that on there get it where I need it and then we will run them both through the die cut machine and I'll have my pieces ready to share with you now I have my pieces as they've come out of the die cut machine you can see I've got my bird and my um, branch and because we already had the super tacky tape on the back of that it's a sticker and I can just stick it down and that is the easiest way to make the layered cardinal stencil and really makes a nice look this greenery that you see on the wingback card actually came with this greenery right here came with the wingback card base when you buy that base it comes with the berries and that greenery but you could also put it in a pine branch that we have or many other options so thank you so much for joining me today you can find the product links in the description below and they all can be found on our website www.creekbankcreations.com